Okay, this is Egypt in the um, Uncensored Library in Minecraft. Egypt, uh, World Press Freedom Index, uh, 163rd of 180 countries. Uh, the tipped scale symbolizes Egypt's draconian laws that impose long prison sentences for anyone uh, who dares to criticize or protest against the government. Egypt is one of the world's biggest jailers of journalists. Some spend years in detention without being charged or tried. Others have been sentenced to long jail terms or even life imprisonment in iniquitous mass trials. Many of the media is now controlled directly or indirectly by the state, the intelligence services or companies closed to the government. More, uh, more than 500 websites are blocked and more than more and more people are getting arrested because of their social network posts. Since 2013, the news portal uh, Madame Monsieur has reported about corruption and security issues in a manner that is often critical of the government. It is the last professional news website that reports independently and is one of the most important sources of equality, journalism, uh, equality journalism, journalism, fuck's sake, one of the most important sources of quality journalism in Egypt. Since May 2017, the website has been blocked in the country. Egypt is one of the most dangerous places on earth for journalists, and the editors of Madame Masir risk a lot, of pub uh, a lot to publish independent journalism. Even taking credit for their work can be dangerous, and they often leave their authors' identities open. Read some of uh, Madame Masir's articles at the bottom of the scales. It seems like they have some uh Okay. Oh okay. That's cool. It seems they have uh, a guy speaking for it. It's in Arabic. Are these all in English? Oh they are. Okay. Okay, I'll take book one and two. I have to make these since there's so many books. Okay, this I think Egypt's gonna be a lot easier to do since there was most of it's already in English. How you will be affected by the new cybercrime law: a guide by Madame Monsieur. You're hanging out on the street and you see a famous actor riding a car with a senior government official. You take out your phone, snap a photo of them, and post it online. A news media website picks up your photo, publishes, publishes a story on their website, linking the story to earlier news of the celebrity's connection to the senior government official, and shares it on social media platforms. The story finds its way to the government official in the photo. He files a lawsuit, as is his right under the provisions of the cybercrime law, which was ratified by the president on August 18th. First, you will be prosecuted for publishing a personal photo without the consent of the person in it. You can now be punished, in accordance with the cybercrime law, with a minimum of six-month prison term or a fine ranging between uh, 5,000 LE and 100,000 LE. The editor, developer, and host of uh, the news media website, as well as the social media officer uh, running its accounts, whether that officer works directly for the media outlet or for a third-party service provider, will also face the charge of faci facilitating a crime punishable by law, liable to no less than two years in prison and or a fine ranging between 2,000 LE and 200,000 LE. What if the investigators find that your internet service provider, ISP, did not collect and retain your browsing data, uh, traffic data and traffic content for the past 180 days, or that the company hosting the media website did not collect the same information about the website editors? Uh, these two companies are now liable to the fine, at least, uh, at least 5 million LE and up to 10 million LE, and they may lose their license to operate in Egypt. This is an example to illustrate the multiple parties that stand subject to prosecution under the new cybercrime law, 
for an everyday act like publishing a photo or a celebrity or public uh, figure in a public place. The law passed to protect citizens and safeguard their freedom. Quotes and unquotes. Uh, according, to a head, uh, according to Head of Parliament's Communications and Information Technology Committee, uh, Nadal uh, Al Said defines a broad scope of penalties that apply to a wide range of persons. Uh, Madame Monsieur has developed this guide to make sense of how this law will affect our daily activities, whether as casual internet users or telecom and information technology uh, or IT. Uh, professionals who work in web development system administration, hosting, digital marketing, information security, or online journalism. As a casual user, if you post original content, uh, such as videos, photos, or texts, on websites or social media platforms, and that content violates the privacy of others and is posted without their consent, the applicable penalty is no less than a six-month prison term and or a 50,000 LE to 100,000 LE fine. In accordance with Article 25, uh, the penalty is applicable regardless of the val uh, validity, the validity of the information involved. So even if the information pertains to a public figure and in the public interest, for example, if you post a photo of Egypt's interior minister, uh, minister having dinner with his Russian counterpart at a restaurant, you are liable for prosecution. If the original content you post may be construct, uh, construed as violating family principles and values upheld by Egyptian society, let's say content promoting women's rights, uh, right to abort, you may receive a minimum of six months in prison and or a fine ranging between 5,000 LE and 100,000 LE. Under the same Article 25, uh, creating parody accounts of public figures is also punishable by the new law. According to Article 24, stipulates that anyone who creates an email address or a uh, website or personal account and uh, fraudulently attributes it uh, to a legally registered individual or organization should be imprisoned for a term of no less than three months and or a fine of $10,000 LE, uh, excuse me, 10,000 LE or up to 30,000 LE. If the account insults the person it par uh, parodies, the minimum term is a year in prison while the minimum fine is 50,000 LE. And a maximum is 200,000 LE. You can be held accountable for ac accessing or hacking a website, a private account, database, or device, uh, whether you access it in intentionally or unintentionally, and th then wrongfully remain inside. Let's say that you have an account on the government's e procurement portal. Uh, procurement portal and you accidentally access a file containing a list of companies bidding for a certain project you will be penalized with time in prison of no less than a year or and or a fine ranging between 50,000 LE and 100,000 LE in the fact that you access the file leads to damage erasure altering copying or redistribution of the data or information the term of imprisonment extends to no less than two years according to the provisions of article 15 encryption on and online security services services such as the tor browser and virtual private networks vpns incur liability for both users and service providers as well under Article 22, whoever, pose, whoever possesses, acquires, obtains, sells, makes available, manufactures, produces, imports, or exports, or circulates any, uh, uh, oh wait, any device, equipment, software, passcodes, passwords, or any similar data without permission from the National Telecom Regulatory Authority, or the NTRA, good reason or legal justification shall be penalized with imprisonment for a term of no less than two years and or a fine of no less than 300,000 LE and no more than 500,000 LE. If the motive of doing so is proven to be used uh, using them to perform any of the actions that cybercrime law defines as unlawful or concealing traces or evidence of any uh, of these actions. Finally, if you use wireless networks around you with, uh, with or uh, without the knowledge of their owners, reach and uh, um, let me read that. Let me read that back here. Uh, finally, if you use wireless networks around you with or without the knowledge of the uh, of their owners, reach an agreement with your neighbor to use their internet service or use broadcasting channels. For example, uh, walkie-talkie uh, without a tele. 
uh, without a communications permit or a video slash audio broadcasting license, you could receive a prison sentence of no less than three months and be fined between 10,000 LE and 50,000 LE under Article 13. That is absolutely fucking ridiculous. I think I have time for another book. Let's see. Take that. He's reading that. Oh, fuck. Let's go ahead and read this real quick. Uh, from Torah, Harry Potter in an Egyptian prison by uh, Abdurrahman al uh, uh for Madame Asir. Uh, I struggled back. Uh, I struggled back to the prison wing. My arms protesting under the weight of the visit bags I'm carrying, one in each hand. I can feel the uh, the sweat streaming from underneath my hair, which has been left to grow for months, and is now the longest it's ever been. Inside me is a glowing particle of joy. My sister has brought me a present. Having found a website that sells Harry Potter merchandise for obsessive fans, she turned up today's visit with a long rectangular package of the kind that you might find at uh, Ollivander's uh, from ins at Ollivander's from inside it. She for fuck's sake. Let me read that back again. Having found a website that sells a Harry Potter merchandise for obsessive fans, she turned up to today's visit with a long rectangular package. Uh, of the kind you might find at Ollivander's. Uh, from inside it, she produced a magic wand with round knots along its length. The Elder Wand. I grinned, thinking about uh, how we played with it in the visiting room as I explained the story to my mom. I approached the guard who sits at the entrance to the wing, ready for the second visit day, uh, second visit day search and pat down. I place the bags in front of him and he checks their cont contents. Contents. Christ, uh, one by one, food, clothes, uh, sweets, soap. When he gets to the rectangular box, he peers at it, then opens it. He takes out the wand, turns it over several times in bemusement, then looks up at me. What's this? He asks. I hesitated awkwardly, then venture, ever heard of Harry Potter? He stares at me as if I'm speaking Chinese, then turns his attention back to the wand and starts trying to bend it in half. I decided I'd better tell him the truth before he breaks it. I say, it's a magic wand. He raises his gaze slowly and looks at me straight in the eye. I return his gaze with total seriousness. God protect us, whatever next, he scoffs, slapping his hands together and shaking his head. Having tossed the wand and its box back into the bag and waved me through, as I pass, he is muttering to himself about the sights he sees in prison these days. I act innocent. He doesn't know that the wand he was holding in his hands just a few seconds ago was created by death himself. Later, after everyone else is asleep, I sit across I sit cross-legged in the far corner of the cell. It's one in the morning. Uh, the cell is cramped but intimate. It's slightly damp, thanks to the bathroom next door, and only a dim bulb lights the nighttime darkness. We call it the kitchen, because it's... F uh, festooned with Tupperware containing vegetables, onion, garlic, spices, and all manner of other bits and pieces for cooking. I took a sip of coffee from my paper cup, and then pick up the wand and con uh, contemplate it. I could do with a bit of magic to relieve this stifling loneliness. <sighs> to live for a few moments, the cloak of alienation, and I've worn so long and hard, it's become tattered. Let me read that back again. To lift for a few moments the cloak of alienation that I've worn so long and hard has become tattered. I raise the wand and point it, uh, point it at a tomato. Wingardium Leviosa, I cry. Moving my wrist according to instructions I have st uh, stored in my memory. Swish and flick. After a few failed attempts, I abandon the tomato and aim at my coffee cup in the hope of warming it up. Incendio. Nothing. Then I realized that had that spell succeeded, I'd have set the paper cup on fire rather than warming up the coffee and thank the Lord for my limited uh, magical talents. 
the five years since I've read the series, the series, I have obviously affected my memory. I take pleasure in thinking about the similarities between me and Harry. And Harry. Before my 19th birthday, I lay among the bodies in the cell and traced out the words, Happy Birthday, on the floor. Just like Harry did on the stone floor of the shack, where the door suddenly burst open and he learned he was a wizard. In my case, the door slammed open to reveal a gang of intelligence officers, yelling and kicking and punching as they drug us out for a shakedown. I think, too, how many people love Harry and considered him a hero, while others hate him and plot his destruction. All because of a scare he didn't ask for, a scar he didn't ask for, and loathes with all his heart. He never wanted to be anything other than a normal human being. This prison would scare, would scar me too. I can already see the signs of being shown immense love from some and bitter hatred from others because of it. I no more asked for it than Harry did his scar. I see a faint movement in an open tub of dates before me. Dates are the little fruit. I squint in the dim light. A warm, a tiny warm, wriggling comically in a half a date. Worm, excuse me, Jesus Christ, can't read. I grab an empty jar from beside me, drop the date into it and close the lid. I watch the worm shuffle out of the date and extend itself along the bottom of the jar. It surprises me by embarking on rapid legs of a jar on its tiny legs. Oh, a rapid laps of the jar on its tiny legs. Round and round it goes, not stopping once. It reminds me of a thought, uh, of the thoughts going round and round in my head. I point to the wand and, and gargoyle, the growing charms. It ignores me and continues his its energetic circuits of the jar. I feel a strange camaraderie watching the worm in the dark like this. Darkness is meant to be frightening, but these days I rarely feel at ease except when I'm in the dark. I remember Dumbledore's words. It is the unknown we fear when we look upon death and darkness, nothing more. Perhaps that's why I fear the future. I decide to name the word Hedwig after Harry's owl. I give up trying to enlarge it with the wand it doesn't look like there's any room for magic in this wretched place. I sing to Hedwig instead. Watching the scene from above, I see a young man with a wild hair sitting with wild hair sitting across legged on a wet floor, in darkness save for the dim glow of a light somewhere. He clutches a magic wand as if it's his only hope. He sings while next to him on the floor a worm shuffles in it in endless circles, searching for meaning inside her jar just as he too searches for meaning. Another saying of Dumbledore comes to mind. Happiness can be found even in the darkness of times, the darkest of times, if one only remembers to turn on the light. I turn to Hedwig with a smile. Lumos, I whisper. Harry Potter, courtesy of uh, LA. Editor's note, uh, 22 year old student, um, Abdel Rahman Al Gendi was arrested for from a car in Ramsey Square, Cairo, with his father in October 2013. A few months after the oyster, oyster uh, former President Mohamed Mar uh, Morsi, they were charged along with over uh, 60 others of murder, attempted murder, vandalism, possession of weapons, and distributing the public pe disturbing the public peace and were sentenced to 15 years in prison, five years probation, and a 200,000, uh, 20,000 LE fine by the Cairo Criminal Court on September 30th, 2014. In March 2016, their final appears was rejected by the Court of Cassation. Uh, Gandhi's father was released by presidential pardon last year, but his son remains in prison. Gandhi had won a scholarship to study engineering at the German University in Cairo and was not yet 18 years old when he was arrested. He lost his place at the university as a result of his imprisonment and is currently enrolled at Ain Shams, uh, Ain Shams University and uh, studying from Torah prison. Absolutely shameful. Mm. 
Mass arrests. Mass suppression. This is going on everywhere. Right under our noses. And that's it for this video. On to the next.